Hey y'all, so right now I'm getting ready to build my DIY ring light and I just wanted to put it in a vlog instead of doing an extra tutorial because there are plenty of many tutorials on YouTube of how to do this. The one that I'm actually going to be following um, today is by Leslie Allison and I will put her link in the description box if you guys want to check it out. So yeah, I'm just going to do that right quick and um, yeah, let me jump right into it. Okay, I think 
it's definitely pretty bright i guess um i have to try it out and actually use it y'all my back hurt from sitting on this floor like this but um and see how bright it actually is i don't know i'll have to let y'all know i'll uh, i did a few different things that she did though one i used um 30 feet of light not on purpose <laughs> When I went to Walmart, when I first um, was going to do the project, it was like a month ago and I bought all my stuff. And I couldn't find the right light, so I just grabbed a 30-foot one, and I didn't think it would be that big of a difference. It was a big difference. It was so hard trying to wrap all them lights around this wreath. And I had 14, a 14-inch 14 wreath that I bought from Walmart. I think she bought a 12-inch one from the Dollar Tree. The one I bought from Walmart was still like a dollar or two dollars or something like that, so it wasn't like that expensive. That's just what I found. That's where I was at the time. So, um, that's what I got. Or was it vice versa? Did I get mine from Dollar Tree and she got hers from Walmart? Something like that. It was wherever she got hers from, I got mine from the opposite place. I don't even remember anymore. So, yeah. Also, I used an X-Acto knife to cut out the ring instead of scissors because she had mentioned that she was using kitty scissors and it was hard. And I used, like, my, I had my regular scissors, like, big scissors. And when I was trying to cut out that foam, it was so, so hard. Luckily, I did have a um, an X-Acto knife from another project that I did. So, I grabbed that and it was so easy cutting it. So, I do recommend using an, an X-Acto knife if you can get your hands on one. I mean, you can get it from Hobby Lobby or wherever. But if you have one, use one. Or if you're going to do this project, get one because it makes it so, so much easier. What else did I do that was differently? Um, I think one more thing that I can't remember that I did different. Maybe not, but the most important thing is using the exacto knife because it makes a huge difference when trying to cut that foam out. Like, oh my gosh! So yeah, I'm gonna test this out probably when I do um my next video. I gotta find something to sit it on now. It's gonna have to have a stand, and I'm gonna have to have like an extension cord to run through it. Um, it's kind of complicated, but um I don't know. We'll see. Let me cut it off. See what the difference is. Oh, it does make a huge difference. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't tell at first because it just I felt like it just wasn't <laughs> let me stop I couldn't tell that it was uh, making that big of a difference because when I plugged it up I guess I was like I already I don't know I don't know but anyways I'm gonna test it out and hopefully it works really well for the time being and I have so many videos planned for the future well, like, for soon. <laughs> I got a few videos I need to film this week. Especially before I go out of town. I'll be leaving Monday, going out of town for work. So, I need to hurry up and get these videos done. <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm just so exhausted. I've been up since, like, 7 this morning. 7.30. And, um, I've been busy. Like, when I got up, I hit the floor running. I was trying to get a lot of stuff done. I did some cleaning. I cleaned all my makeup brushes. I did some cleaning in my room. Well, I started cleaning my room last night. I did a little more today. I did some laundry this morning. And this is all before I went to church this morning. And I went to church. And then I came home. I went to Walmart. I got stuck in there because it was storming. And eventually, I just, like, ran out. Like, when it stopped, like, it never stopped raining. But it stopped, like, thundering and lightning real bad. So, I ran out to my car. So, I could hurry up and get home. Came home. Fixed dinner. Cleaned the kitchen. Prepped my fruit and um, snacks and stuff for lunch this week. And then I got on this project, and now I'm getting ready to uh, take a bath and probably go to bed because I'm really, really tired. And I want to hurry up and take a bath before the storm comes back through because I'm not about that being in the bathtub while it's lightning outside. I don't know if y'all like that, but it was all we was always told don't be in no water when it's lightning, and it's still in my head today. So I'm trying to hurry up and do that before the storm comes back through. So yeah, I'm just gonna. You ready for bed? And I'll continue. With, this vlog is going to go up next Sunday because today is Sunday. So this video is going to go up next Sunday with the rest of this week's vlog. Tomorrow I have to get my braces tightened. So um, I'm going to try to vlog there this time. Last time. When I first got them on, I didn't vlog in there. I might see if I can actually vlog in there while I'm getting, like, going through the process. I don't know. I'll see. So, um, yeah, I, that's why I was trying to prep my food for what I'm going to eat this week because I'm going to have to eat soft stuff because when they get tightened, my teeth are going to go be sore again. So, I have, um, for tomorrow, I can eat whatever I want because my appointment is, is until 1.45. So, I'll have lunch before that. For breakfast, I'm going to try a smoothie bowl because I've been seeing so many people do them lately and they look so good. And my dad made smoothies, um, Saturday, was it Saturday, Friday, or Saturday night? 
it was Friday, he wasn't here Saturday, and he had a lot of the mix left over, so he put it in the freezer, so I'm just going to use that to make my smoothie bowl. So yeah, I'm going to try that in the morning, I bought some granola and some strawberries and blueberries and bananas to like go on top. So um, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna try that, and I'm really excited about that because they always look so so good. And I mean, I like smoothies. It's the same thing. Smoothies just in a bowl with fruit on top. Like, how can that not be good? <laughs> so um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna probably be doing for breakfast this week. Um, I have been doing like last week. I was doing boiled eggs with a piece of wheat toast. Like, you should do two boiled eggs and one or two pieces of toast, depending on how hungry I am that morning, really. And um. Then sometimes I do like omelet style eggs with like bell peppers, onions, tomatoes, like loaded with veggies because I love veggie omelets. So um, sometimes I do that if I have time to do that before I go to work because sometimes I don't get up early enough. I haven't been going to the gym, but I've been working out at home afterwards. Or I've been trying to. I've been going to the track after work every day, like and walking and running. But recently I've been working out, like actually working out with a friend, and um, so. He's been helping me with that, and I'm trying to get into a routine, even though I'm getting to go out of town after this week, I'll be gone for like six weeks, but um, I'm trying to at least get active enough so I don't, so I'll have, build my strength up, because I get tired really fast, because I've been, I have been out of gym for so long, and so I'm trying to get, get back, you know, on it. So, that's my game plan right now. I'm just like trying to get my life together. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting ready to go and get a bath and get ready for bed because I'm getting so sleepy. Y'all probably can see my eyes like low. And yeah, I will just talk to you guys probably tomorrow morning. So good night.